this is Chef Fox for Chefy McChef Pants, Pie Hole Productions, and today we're making an omelet. This is really good food for any of you that are just about to go off and live on your own for the first time, so this is one to learn. So just like in the other egg videos, it's important to have uh, good quality eggs. You'll be able to taste the difference. These are cage-free, free-roam eggs. I have some uh, good cheddar cheese that we're going to grate up. Uh, some butter, salt, and pepper. Now I have a grater to grate the cheese, a non-stick egg pan, and then I have a bowl to whip the egg in so I get nice fluffy eggs. Right, now it's time to grate the cheese. So I just have a little hand grater for a single omelet. You know, as much as you like melted cheese, it doesn't really take all that much cheese. So we'll make a two egg omelet. Give these eggs a whip. So we get some uh, air whipped into those eggs. You'll notice the color is changing from a darker shade of yellow to a lighter one. I'm gonna give it a pinch of salt. I'm going to get a little bit of pepper here into the cap. Make sure I have about how much I want. There we go. Heat that in and make sure it's well combined. This is all going to go back on the stove at um, a medium low temperature. So let's do that. So by now some of you are getting sick of eggs. We've done three egg videos already and there's still a couple more to go. Um, I worked at a restaurant once and on the signboard it said, ask the server what chef is having for lunch. And then that was always their option to have what I was having. So usually it was some good bread and some sausage and cheese or an egg sandwich, something like that. Eggs are simple, eggs are delicious. So the uh, stove is going back on and we're gonna hit that medium low temperature. Gonna put in that pat of butter and let that start to melt. Okay, cut that. All right, we're gonna add those eggs. Egg pan is just the perfect size for a two egg omelet. So similar to what we did it, with the scrambled eggs, I'm going to pull egg towards the center and liquid egg that's uncooked is going to take over the space on the sides and I'm going to end up with a fluffier, uh, more three-dimensional omelet instead of one that's just a little flat disc of egg. So this is going to have a little more shape to it. See, when I start running out of egg, I stop doing that. Take my cheese. Some people like to go right down the center. I'm only going to give it one fold instead of two. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese on one side. Now you're going to like this. There's a lid. It's going to create a little oven. The cheese is going to melt evenly and we're going to have a delicious omelet. It's fluffy. It's going to be cooked on the top without being burned on the bottom and it's going to have melted cheese. Now this might look like home cooking, uh, but a lot of people get their start uh, as a breakfast cook. Um, about a quarter of the jobs are actually for breakfast cooks. And a lot of people actually are making omelets live for people in a buffet line uh, at a brunch, the omelet cooker. So let's see how we're doing here. The cheese is nearly cooked. I think the residual heat of the egg, when I fold that over, will finish that uh, melting, over, melting off right there. So I'm gonna pour it out of the pan. I'm gonna use the pan right here to fold it over. Perfect egg. Perfect omelet, not overcooked. Go Hawks. Cheese is melted. Egg is fluffy. And 
for friend of Chef You Make Chef Pants out there, you know who you are. Delish.